Hi, welcome to my video. Today we'll be learning about protons, neutrons, and electrons. Alright, for protons, neutrons, and electrons, they each have their own charge and relative mass. Protons' charge is positive, and neutron doesn't have any charge. Electrons have a negative charge. For relative mass, protons and neutrons are the same, and they are small, but electrons are even smaller. If we take a look at the atom here, we have neutrons and protons pointed to the center or the nucleus. They're positioned here because they make up the mass of the whole atom. While the electrons with the very, very small mass are on the outside, or we would call this the electron cloud. This one, remember, this one has negative, and this one is a positive and neutral charge. On the periodic table, we can see where the protons are. So for this one, for example, we have a oxygen here as our element. Um, it has eight protons, so it says it at the top, and it represents the whole element. Another word for this is atomic number for the protons. You can also, the symbol for it is also Z. So I'm going to teach you how to do the nuclear symbol notation. So, for example, here we have our oxygen, and we would put the Z, or the atomic number of protons, like 8, um, on the bottom, and A, or protons plus the neutrons, on top. You can also call this atomic mass. So, what you would be doing is putting these two together, on the top here, and then the bottom is just protons. Okay, so for oxygen, for protons, we would have the eight, and then if I said we have eight neutrons, then you would add both of those up to make the A atomic mass of 16. So let's do a example problem. Okay, so here we have 11 protons and 13 neutrons. So you can take a minute and pause the video to do this. Okay, now we're going to look at the answer. So here we have our protons, our 11 protons on the bottom. And then our 11 protons and 13 neutrons on the top. And if you're wondering what the Na stands for, it is sodium. Because sodium has 11 protons. And you can find this just on the periodic table. So we can do one more example problem. Here we have 30 protons and 33 neutrons. Take a second to pause. Okay, now we're going to look at the answer. Alright, so for the answer we have 63 protons and neutrons on the top, 
and then on the bottom we have our protons of 30. And here we have zinc, which has 30 protons. All right, I hope this video helped you. Thank you. Goodbye.